What's good, YouTube and Twitch? We're live on stream here, and we're going to go through the ban list. Something pretty arduous to decide. We are going to decide if every single card on the ban list should be free in the current format, or if it should stay on the list. No sooner than, it's a whole month away, meaning we're entering that low bar for YouTube content where a bunch of people are going to be staring at this soon, but we're going to head a different direction and just say, should this card be on the list or not? And number one's a contract controversial one astrograph sorcerer pendulum and i think this card personally deserves to stay on the list it's pretty whack not only that generic hand trap effect but the resource tool that it is for pend along with the body going to board it is way too crazy for the game and i think stays on the list gofu i think stays on the list as well for its token ability due to needle fiber but even then its presence and craziness with link summoning without noodle fuber it stays here. Steam the Cloak, as long as Noodle Fuber is free, that one does stay on the list. My first one I would peel off is going to be Blaster. I think this Dragon Ruler, out of the three remaining on the list, it's the least powerful, that effect and recurrence and all that stuff. I think Blaster is fine in modern day Yu-Gi-Oh! In fact, I think Tempest is the better card, if I'm honest. I used to play this back in the day with Infernoid a little bit, but yeah, I think I think this can peel on off the list. Ah, uh, Rip Blocky Boy, you made Adamancipator so good, he went on just last list. The fifth Dragon Ruler, as it were. I think it stays on the list. Cyber Jar is too crazy for me. I think that it helps enable Empty Jar a little bit too much. And the madness that ensues with getting to summon all the cards, getting extra cards to hand, it's just a bit too much conceptually for Yu-Gi-Oh! And I think stays on the list. Dandelion is on here as long as Needle Fiber is free. Also, it was a preemptive hit that led people to think that it would, Needle Fiber would come over sooner than later. It stays. Even without the good old uh, boss that we've been talking about, Halky Fire. Fibrax, Needle Fiber. The Strudel, I think, stays on the list, Perma. This pay 4,000 half your life points, that, that's a lot of life points, but the body on board, the tuner, the synchro plays that this gave so many different decks just off Dragon Ravine, it's a little too much. Gen Releaser of Rituals, it's not healthy at all. Uh, to be able to just lock people out of special summoning in general, I think this stays on the list. Eclipse Weaverin, with Chaos having developed even more in tune chaos, the searchability aspect that comes from the Guard Dragon engine into this. This absolutely stays on the list for now. Fairy Tale Snow, yeah, it would need some kind of errata, which Twitch chat said. I hate erratas, but it would need like a hard once per turn clause to come back. In fact, I'd rather than just create another fairy tale that does something similar to Snow, making it searchable within that archetype, and then mellows out the effect and recurrence a little bit, but still mimics it. Just create a new card with how powerful this is instead of ruining the past fairy tale that was written fiber jar is also similar to cyber jar a reset button on this except when you banish stuff it doesn't come back i don't like the concept of fiber jar either despite setting you have cards that can just flip it face up turn one i don't want to see empty jar get stronger or strategies that are degenerate banishing from the deck and trying to restart over and over i don't want to see that happen and i think it deserves to stay banned fish Warg blaster i missed on the why everything is banned list uh it has just crazy uh, infinite recurrence i think it stays glow up bulb it should be free i don't think it should have even got hit with the needle fiber you have so many replacements from plague spreader oh no it costs a card yeah, it costs a card. I just don't think Glow Up Bulb should have got hit in the capa capacity that it got hit in. Grinder Golem. The only reason I want this free is so that Lithium will be saying that name a bunch again. But with Security Dragon, Oxic Magician, so many other things that can just rebounce and get freedom with it. And it being searchable from the deck by a card. There's a spell card that can search it. I think it stays here on the list. Jet Synchron, uh banned as long as needle fibers banned level eater it's here for a long long time with link summoning level eater became way too much for the game synchro loop decks even made this look pretty degenerate in the past so i think level eater as long as link summoning is within the game it cannot come back kaiju link was one of the greatest decks that never got to get play tiger i think can come unbanned despite the degenerate non once per turn clauses with this deck we banned as a thought it's later on the list why is this still here i, I get it's very 
very powerful in what it can do, but the deck wasn't doing much problematically, uh, except for with that card. So without it, I, I still think uh, it can go back off the list in some capacity, at least off of the ban list itself. It shouldn't be banned. Magical Scientist, it just throws up too many bodies on board, can do too much with modern day XCs. Uh, I, I think Magical Scientist is the one of the original reasons a ban list was created and forever he will remain. If you watch traditional, you know what I'm talking about. Magic Spectre Unicorn Kieran is one that many people argue can come off the list. I personally think it should remain on having the phrase can't be targeted, can't be destroyed with a body that has a quick play bounce versus the opponent that can just be pendulum summoned back out. Or if it is taken care of, usually goes to the extra deck for recurrence. It's too prevalent in its ability to play back and forth and I think should stay on the ban list. Masterpiece, the true Draco Slaying King, that armor is too thick. I think he stays banned as well, no matter how many people argue for it. Maxi, it actually can come off the list, but only in one capacity, it goes to three. Its number should be in a format zero or three i will stick to by that argument till the end at one or two it becomes more of a luck factor either max out the maxi or keep it at zero where it's at mecha phantom beast o lion uh again get rid of needle fiber this card will not be a problem again most likely mind master i recall this card being super degenerate for psychics i actually have to pull it up to read it mind master Yu-Gi-Oh. let's see what this bad boy reads this card that reads you can pay 800 life points and tribute to one psychic type monster except for himself to special summon a level four lower psychic monster from your deck and face up attack ah so this is not a once per turn at all but paying life points is the check and balance so with mind master you have a field spell that allows you to accumulate counters and not have to pay or i think there's also an equip spell that would make you not pay and you can infinitely loop out through your deck and do really crazy things and he is also a level that can be emergency teleported out if i'm not mistaken yeah, he's a bit crazy. He remains on the list. Harpoor, I'm going to level with you. Um, you might not want to hear it. This is not biased. I actually was not a fan of Orcus. I think it should come back to one just to see what it could do with Gearsu after the underperformance and underhype of Gearsu. I would like to see the deck with Harp at one. I'm not, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Orcus, but I actually would like to see what it can do at one. Plush Fire, people say it can't come back. The little the the guy i think he should come back i think plush fire at one is perfectly fine uh and maybe you could go further and extra but the original combo of luster plush fire i think it's past its prime i think it's past its craze absolutely this can come back now monkey board joker I think only one of these two can come back, and I think Joker is the safer one. If you were to talk about them by themselves, Monkey Board could come back right now to one, Joker could come back right now to three, but if you talk about both together, I think Monkey and Joker together end up being a bit toxic. So I think I would rather see Joker to three out of the two. Monkey Board being the one card scale is pretty crazy, but on its own, I think isn't that bad. And there's so many 1800 searchers that do far more than Joker does. Joker absolutely could go to three. Phoenix Cluster Amaryllis, somebody in chat was saying we never got a chance to play it. This is an ancient card. It was a degenerate FTK. No, this card stays for its FTK reasons. Redox is uh, a bit probably the most powerful dragon ruler in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. I think Redox definitely ends up staying on the list for now. And I'm going to take a little drink of water. This is a very long thing uh, video as it's going to turn out to be. Lotus, if I recall, was on here for Firewall FTK, but I think if anything is that loopable, it's probably best that it stays on the list. Spiral Master Plan, dude, Spirals had to be checked how many times on the ban list? One, two, three, four, five. We start counting up, it's going to get crazy, but Master Plan is the absurd resource game piece that Spirals need to go to the next level, and I think if you peel it off, they're just straight back into some kind of metagame even today. So it deserves its ban, probably. Substitute... 
Substitute, I like it. It's just such a funny card, but it's, it's it's way too loopy. It stays on here. Tyrant Neptune is banned for the sins of the Leerlusk, if I recall. I think you could uh, peel it off if you ban the Leerlusk, but as long as that's a card, it stays over here. Title, I'm on the fence about. I feel like it should come back, but every time I do, there's Mermail players saying, oh, that would be so insane and be so broken and Mermails, it would take them to the next level. Well, wasn't that Deep Sea support supposed to do that? And it didn't end up doing it. Now, maybe you have a better argument with Tidal and being able to give them the resources to hand loop and go crazier and get more consistency, but I think I think Tidal probably is fine at this stage in the game, and if it was a problem, you just throw it back on the list. I, I'm more inclined to say Tidal is... It goes in this order. Blaster, definitely okay to peel off. Tidal, question mark, probably. Redox, Nah. Victory Dragon stays on the list for one reason only. I see people saying victory to one. There's a whole rule set that needs to be created for this card because when it attacks directly and it ends the game, it ends the entire match. So you have a problem with people going, uh, I can just place my hand on my deck and say, I scoop. I scoop, and uh, you ha you would need to make rules that defy the entire game for one card, such as, well, while this card's on the field, your opponent can't scoop at any time. It's established itself, and then stall problems can happen, or bad arguments, so... Victory Dragon ends up there, and then every other card with that win con later becomes prize cards that stay not able to be played. You, you're not going to make an entire set of rules for one card, and that's why Yu-Gi-Oh! has it banned. Yadagarasu, I think can peel off the list. What do you have? Shino Birds at this point? I personally think people just don't like it by card design, myself included, but if I'm creating a ban list of fair and balanced unbiased, I think Yada peels off just fine. In modern day Yu-Gi-Oh, you're going to have so much work to go second to rob a draw later after they've already got the chance to play, even if you have hand traps. They have to have brick pretty bad to be losing to this, and then Shino Birds is probably the best deck to use this in. Eh. It can come off. Definitely. Elder Entity Norden, I think, stays banned. No matter what. You can ban Instant Fusion and people are going to Fusion Sub. You ban Fusion Sub. I'm sure people will find ways into it. Norden's ability to recur and then be revived and recur even further. Uh, it's just too crazy. It stays banned. I think Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom can also come off the moment you ban that Lyralusk. But until then, it's staying on the list. I emphasize i would like to see the leer lusk bam and all the other cards that are problematic because of it unbanned thunder dragon colossus i'm gonna be real with you i was a thunder dragon player i think that it personally probably should stay on the list but it's been at one in the ocg for a long time without a problem i think thunder dragon colossus could go off to one the problem was you have three of them floating around and then you're able to make it so prevalent i would like to see thunder dragons gain a boss back but it is a self-protecting body i go back and forth on this myself like kind of like i do with title i try to put my bias aside still a mistake on legs that self-protects seems degenerate but in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, you now have droplet you have talents to take it you have so many different cards that can deal with this i feel like it's fair at one as a boss monster and no more firewall dragon stays on here forever till it gets a double errata and i don't like the thoughts of double errata just make a new one firewall dragon 2 please it's caused so many fdk so many problems to Yu-Gi-Oh. it stays argapane breaks into the extra deck and people are now asking for lp to be banned too absolutely this stays on here every link monster actually besides electromite does electromite was robbed too early when it was banned um pendulums were only getting probably one to three tops per ycs even with the new structure deck out at the time electromite was robbed before her time it sold this still running around this is completely unfair and where astrograph is crazy electromite is can be a choke point on pendulums in fact and while it's a great enabler a great link I don't think it's too broken. I think it's fine at one. Nightmare Goblin being an extra normal is way too crazy to be generic. Mermaid's accessibility into the deck and ability to go ham is too much. Summon Sorceress just gave everything, but the most powerful decks would uh, abuse it more. Everything power, so like it felt good. Like zombies were topping because of her, but was it really justified with the other decks that got to use it as an enabler? It's kind of like Needle Fiber. It's way too generic and has to go. Topologic Gumblar 
Power Dragon hand loops are not fair to the game, needs to stay banned. I know Cap G wants to like that answer the most, but no, Gumblar seriously needs to stay banned. Hand looping is not healthy for the game, and we need to deal with the modern hand loops as well. Ancient Fairy Dragon, the Cider Dragon, to stay banned. Um, I think Ancient Fairy stays here. Field spells only get more generically powerful in Yu-Gi-Oh, and they limit the other ways to search them, and because of that, especially with Mystic Mind and cards like that, it stays here. Denglong and Ib are here in the group together i think that the synchro enablers to be able to do more thing are partly crazy yes because of needle fiber but also denglong doing multiple negates it's a little more powerful than ib in my book people will argue either way for this uh i used to say denglong needs to stay on the list and people are like but ib is free and then ib got banned by konami uh, they just do too much they do too much tempest is banned for fdks needs to stay there it's just burn damage the card Lovel Chain lets you stack the deck legally and Foolish Burial for any two fours. That's too powerful. I think Curious shows that having to put too much into a card like that that doesn't do as much is more fair for the game. MX Saber and Invoker, I'm sad to say, deserved its ban. Way too crazy with Isold as a card as well and going into the deck how it does with any two threes. Yeah, it, it's just reaching into the deck like that's crazy and LP needs to join. Unlock the Shock! No, Shockmaster is way too toxic and stays. Token Generation is way too powerful with Link Summoning, which is why Galaxy Tomahawk's here. Uh, Rongo Bongo stops you from being able to play completely. That's not healthy. He stays. Galaxy Dark... I, I argued for this at one point to come off, but with how Yu-Gi-Oh! has developed, especially Dragon Link and the power there, he stays. He stays on the list. It's just way too powerful of a card. As a thought, also is designed to not let you play the game. He stays on the list in my book. Mirage Stalio, I think you could argue for to come off the list. I feel like Solomon Greats isn't all that great of a deck uh, versus the, how Power Creep has continued on and other decks have gotten to play. If you put Salad here at full power, I think it is a fighter. It will be in the meta and people got tired of playing against it. But like, I feel like it will be on the outside of the meta looking in like the last meta a choice uh so to speak but yeah i think stalio can come back it's just fine yeah yeah you may not like playing against solid but i think it's a fair ish card uh, as an enabler teller knight patala uh i think there's like some weird loop win con with it is why it's still here the rank up's not all that powerful for what it is i think it's actually the fact that it can win the game in a sense wind up carrier zen matey oh ban the hunter free the boat ban the boat keep hunter free uh most people want the boat free at hunter's expense but while hunter's a card it stays on here and broad bull People are right. I actually don't have the greatest arguments for keeping it banned. I think you could peel it off. Uh, part of the problem was that you could generically make it with two fours, and then any deck has a Dryden. That's the biggest problem with this card. But if you're dedicating that much space in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't think it's so bad. But Zoo is gaining more power right now. A lot of people have bad feelings about that deck. But I think just because you can use any two fours to make Broad Bull, and any deck can be a Zoo deck, it's not as big as a problem with Dryden at one especially. So I think you could free this to one right now and see what it does. Brilliant Fusion! Unfortunately, just any light monster being foolish to the grave and getting a body on board that lets you double normal, that's a bit much. Elma has infinite loops, my brother. It stays banned. Card of safe return. Yeah, that's not safe for the game. Uh, you're able to get way too much draw power off it. It stays banned. People are arguing for change of heart to come back. Let me remind you, they just put mind control at one. And this is a way stronger mind control. And people still complain about that one mind control when it happens to them. Triple tactics talent is why people are arguing this is safe to come back. This is a guarantee. No activation requirement version of the effect in triple tactics talent. It is not comparable. It is not the same. Uh, change of heart stays banned. Chicken game. There's a card called Pseudo Space that can copy it. It's involved in way too many um, FTKs from back in the day, and it's just another upstart goblin that's even more powerful with a floodgate like effect for attacking. It stays banned. Cold Wave, uh, yeah, th that's not fair to shut down back row decks like that. We already have so many things against back row decks like Red the Reboot and Harpy's Feather Duster, Twin Twisters. Do I need to name more? Uh, hey, True Nade, it stays banned. Confiscation and Delinquent Duo. Hand ripping is not okay. Getting to look at the hand and hand rip, especially going first, is not okay to get rid of hand traps. Being able to dig through two of your opponent's cards is not okay for one card in a thousand life points in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Dimension Fusion, you're able to stack your banish way crazier than ever with Chaos, although you usually want your enablers early. This is one of the ultimate extenders and is way 
way out there. Giant Trunade is a bigger Hey Trunade that's the original. And being able to bounce spell and traps allows them to be reused in certain scenarios where you've already used them and they linger on the field. Uh, for the reason of being able to reuse stuff, that's why it stays on here. And I agree. Graceful Charity, no. Just no. We don't need to talk about it. No. Heavy Storm, uh, being able to pop your own back row is uh, actually a plus in modern Yu-Gi-Oh because a lot of things will have effects in the graveyards. So you don't want to give the ability to self-hurt while also taking care of the opponent where you have Harpy's Feather Duster being a healthier back row wipe. Kaiser Coliseum is basically baby Mystic Mine, and I wish Mystic Mine would join it on the list. Last Will is a crazy enabler uh, card that basically special summons things out of the deck that would be a bit too accessible in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Mass Driver, uh, burn damage, way too much. Metamorphosis not only tributes the card which would trigger certain cards in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, but breaks into the extra deck, similar to Argapain. Argapain, I can't even say that card right anymore, thanks to Sam. I'm gonna take another drink, I'm losing my voice. But Metamorphosis can make things like Last Warrior way too easy and needs to stay here. Mirage and Nightmare, I could almost argue, is slower in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, but the ability to plus that much and build your graveyard, it it's probably too powerful, but you could almost make an argument for this comeback, but I, I still think it rewards you emptying the hand, and you have way more options on destroying your own cards now, like Twin Twisters. Nah. Painful Choice is the ultimate, probably the most powerful card on the list, being able to Foolish Burial four cards and get one crazy with how the graveyard is a resource in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Drawing two in Yu-Gi-Oh is more powerful than any game. A generic draw two just isn't feasible for us where other card games don't even care. Premature Burial is one of those cards where you can actually loop it when it's played. It doesn't have a destruction clause. You'd probably need to errata it and then it might be fine to bring back but as an equip and as equips in general get more powerful and you can make it searchable somewhat. Nah. For the ceilings of equips I think this stays banned. Rank up Magic Argent Chaos Force. Well, we're making S0 without it. Why not just throw it back in? Mobilize Engage. I personally don't want it back. But Sky Striker at this point without it is doing just rogue stuff. It's on the outside looking in once again. But with Engage, I think it goes way up. I think... I say Engage stays banned. It's Pot of Greed with searchability, with recurrence within its own deck. It's too crazy. It's too crazy for me. I can't live that Yu-Gi-Oh again. It's too soon, at least. Snatch Steel. They tried to bring it back once, and they banned it the next list for very good reasons. Soul Charge is called Salt Charge as well by Ancient Duelist. And being able to recur that much of your graveyard, which is already a resource that builds easier in Yu-Gi-Oh! And with Link Summoning, imagine all the Link Raiding just being thrown back up on the field. No. Spellbook of Judgment, people want it back for some reason. I think they did not live the format that was Dragon Rulers and the absurd pluses this can make. That grass looks greener. I've argued for it before that grass is a grass deck. Uh, as more grass decks become prevalent that it becomes a healthier card because it can balance itself. But with decks like Orcus that have appeared and the future of card design, I understand why it stays banned. Forceful Century, ripping the hand, is not okay. Last turn's only purpose is basically to create a crazy last battle win con. Even with Yu-Gi-Oh being slower, there's ways to cheat this, not letting your opponent special summon, and that's not okay. Return from the different dimension, I personally think is slow enough to bring back. That may be a crazy statement, but in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Spell and Trap Destruction can force it on your opponent's turn. It's too slow. It doesn't enable the turns. I personally think this can come back, but people might find ways to cheese it out with stuff like Makiura. That's, uh, but that's so much dedication for one card. Like, I personally think this unsearchable card can come back, especially at one where you can't trap trick it or whatever. It's so slow and it would be so niche. Royal Oppression stops people from special summoning at all. It fits the name. It stays banned. Self-destruct button is basically a troll thing where you loop ties over and over again. But now, like, enough ties could, like, you know, be crazy. But the whole point was to tie and tie and tie and tie until you go into time, then burn your opponent and win and steal the duel. Six cents? Way too crazy. It had, like, three legal weeks, I think. And this card got banned. That's another Cap G series right there. The card that was only lasted X minutes. But uh, six cents, uh, being able to mill that many or draw that many, 
crazy card. Time Seal, I almost think, is slow enough that it could come back. I, I think you could peel this one off. Not letting your opponent draw uh, in the future turns... Yeah, I think I, I think it's okay. It's unhealthy and an ideal, but I don't think it would have impact modern Yu-Gi-Oh as much as people think it would right now. Uh, trap Dust Shoot, being able to see your opponent's hand, especially when you went first and stop their key plays, it's a bit too much for Yu-Gi-Oh. Again, ripping the hands a lot. Ultimate Offering, summon, 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 even during my opponent's turn. Summon, 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 a little bit much, especially with resource games of stuff that are just able to continue to go up a line like Goki. Goki almost made a resurgence into the metagame lately with Dark Goki. Ultimate offerings too much with modern Yu-Gi-Oh's resources. And then Vanity's Emptiness. You can't play the game, the card also. I think it stays on this list too. But that's the entire ban list itself. The limit list, semi-limit list. Maybe that's for another day. These are all the cards that I think can peel off the ban list itself. Those are the banned cards. And um, I do think... There's a lot of wasted space between uh, a, a lot of the list and places where you could put things back into the game. Am I too harsh on my opinions? Eh, could other things peel off in other places? Surely. But I think that uh, there's so many different cards, even in the ban section, that can peel off that we've talked about. Thanks for watching this entire video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this conversation. And let me know what you think of the ban list in general and its structure right now. What needs to be taken out of it. Uh, that's definitely a, a conversation I think a lot more people enjoy than put this on it. Go that. People love talking about what can come off of it. And it wasn't a bad conversation for how long this lasted.